Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell, 25th of April 1599 to the 3rd of September 1658, was a politician and soldier widely regarded as one of the most important statesmen in English history. He came to prominence during the 1639 to 1653 Wars of the Three Kingdoms, first as a senior commander in the Parliamentarian Army and then as a politician. A leading advocate of the execution of Charles I in January 1649, which led to the establishment of the Protectorate, he ruled as Lord Protector from December 1653 until his death in September 1658. Cromwell nevertheless remains a controversial figure in both Britain and Ireland due to his use of the military to first acquire, then retain political power, and the brutality of his 1649 Irish campaign. Educated at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, Cromwell was elected MP for Huntingdon in 1628, but the first 40 years of his life were undistinguished and at one point he contemplated emigration to New England. He became a religious independent in the 1630s and thereafter believed his successes were the result of divine providence. While he generally supported tolerance for the various Protestant sects of the time, he later opposed those he considered heretical, such as Quakers and Fifth Monarchists. In 1640, Cromwell was returned as MP for Cambridge in the short and long parliaments and joined the Parliamentarian Army when the first English Civil War began in August 1642. He quickly demonstrated his military abilities and in 1645 was appointed commander of the new model army, Cavalry, under Sir Thomas Fairfax, playing a key role in defeating the Royalists in the First and Second English Civil Wars. Following the execution of Charles I and exile of his son, military victories in Ireland and against the Scots from 1649 to 1651 firmly established the Commonwealth and Cromwell's dominance of the new Republican regime. In December 1653, he was named Lord Protector of the Commonwealth, a position he retained until his death in September 1658, when he was succeeded by his son Richard, whose weakness led to a power vacuum. This culminated in the 1660 Stuart Restoration, when Charles II returned to the throne, after which Cromwell's body was removed from its resting place in Westminster Abbey and displayed at Tyburn. His head was placed on a spike outside the Tower of London, where it remained for 30 years until reburied at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge. Cromwell has been variously described as a military dictator by Winston Churchill and a hero of liberty by John Milton, Thomas Carlyle and Samuel Rawson Gardner, while the debate over his historical reputation continues. First proposed in 1856, his statue outside the House of, of Parliament was not erected until 1895, most of the funds being privately supplied by Lord Rosebery and then, then Prime Minister Oliver Cromwell.